Hello, seventh graders. So today we are going to write our final scientific argument about the question, does fecal transplants or how does fecal transplants help to cure a patient who has been infected with a harmful bacteria? So um, we really have been investigating what is the difference between a healthy microbiome and an unhealthy microbiome. First of all, we started with looking at the scale of things, and then we moved in and thought about microscopic. We learned a little bit about cells, and then we moved into studying our case study pay of patient 23, and he was healthy and then got sick, and we have learned about what a fecal transplant is to help him and so um, to become better. So how is it that they help cure a, a patient? So um, we are going to be looking at the evidence again today and in the final goal is to write a scientific argument. So here are our objectives. You're just going to be able to use a reasoning tool to write a final argument about fecal transplants and you're going to be able, you're going to write an argument about a science, scientific argument about the fecal transplant with claim evidence and reasoning. So our question is how can fecal transplants cure patients infected with harmful bacteria? And um, the claim is that bacteria from the fecal transplant can fill up the space in the gut, which limits the food and space for invading harmful bacteria bacteria. So here's a picture of the harmful bacteria. Here's the fecal transplant. So remember, we're preparing our argument to support this claim. So first, we're going to think about what makes a strong, convincing scientific argument. So we're going to use kind of like an everyday um, example first. So here's our example. Drinking cola is bad for your health. Uh, cola contains formal. So first of all, is this argument convincing? Why or why not? So you're going to take a little bit of time. You can pause the video and answer this question. And then after that, you're going to look at um, what's missing in the argument. So drinking cola is bad for your health. Cola contains formal. So what is missing? If anything is missing in the argument, explain what it is and why. And when you finish those two questions, then I will see you in a little bit. I will see you. So I will see you in a little bit. 